Well, I've got another pair of headphones to test out. This time, active noise canceling. Let's take a peek. Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Gooch. So, I have Tautronics active noise canceling headphones. These are brand new this year. Uh, they're SoundForge 46 wireless stereo headphones. Um, I've been actually using them for a few weeks, kind of off and on, testing them in multiple situations, whether it's music, watching movies. I'm trying to get as much time with them on my ears as I can. Um, whenever you have a headphone, now this is not a $20 pair of headphones. This is more like a $90 pair of headphones. A uh, few things to, 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 to say before we bring it in a little bit. One, they're actually very, very comfortable. They really are. Um, so I have to give them a uh, big credit for that. Uh, the noise canceling, actually pretty good. Not as good as my Bose Quiet Comforts. However, these are substantially more money. 330 bucks, I think, right now you can get these for. Um, of course, Bose is bringing out a new model of these. Uh, well, technically not of these. They're not quiet comforts anymore. Um, so these will probably come down in price a little bit. However, still over $300 versus $90. Um, they kind of half fold up. So the, you know, the size is, is something to say. You know, that's, it is something to say. Um, but I've, I've tried a lot of various headphones out there. And... I gotta give Tautronics a lot of credit for these for 90 bucks. They're the best active noise canceling I've put on my ears for less than $100. Probably less than $150, $200. Just to put that out there, I would say less than 150 bucks. Um, definitely really good noise canceling. I actually cut my lawn with these with my riding mower. I had a little bit of time before the next spot of rain came in and it was not too dry, but I had enough time. So I thought, and what I usually do is throw my Bose Quiet Comforts on, listen to an audiobook or maybe some music or something, um, but just take off the nice loud noise of my tractor. These, like I said, not quite as good as the Bose, but I was really surprised at actually how good they sounded. Now, of course, they're nice noise isolating to start with, so they actually do a pretty good job off the bat by really putting this kind of soft memory foam. It's kind of like memory foam, I think around your ears, so they actually good, do a good job of sealing, and then they have a, ne a, 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 a noise canceling switch there, geez, quite a bit. Um, so, one of the big benefits of these is that you can use the Bluetooth without the noise canceling on, you can use the Bluetooth with the noise canceling on. They do have a wired port as well, and in the box, actually, let me, let's bring the video in here. So as you can see here, these basically fold in half, and then just I have a nice little strap. Now this strap can be undone, but I found it actually easier just to slide them in. But either way, that's how they basically come, right? And so you can take the headphones out or unstrap them by the Velcro. But that's your headphones. Nice, soft liners. Very good feeling to the ears. We have our standard power buttons, volume up and down. Uh, just push the power button to play pause. Then we have our active noise canceling switch here on the side. You can see the light glow there when it's actually on. And then the other side is just uh, our micro USB for charging them. Over here, we have the accessories that it comes with. Now I use my own charging cord, so I don't need this, but I do keep it in here for backup. Just a standard micro USB cable, nothing fancy there. Standard uh, 3.5 millimeter cable for hardwiring it if you don't need the Bluetooth or if your battery dies. It does come with a little I guess support puppy here does come with 18 months extended warranty. And then have, of course you have your uh, air, uh, airline adapter in there as well. Then you actually have your instruction book. So let's see what that looks like there. Multiple languages, normal. So that is what you actually get in the box. Um, and that's how it comes in, in their storage container. 
and I just keep that down there. That's always great to ha and handy to have. Obviously, you can replace this and do whatever you want over here if you'd like. Um, I don't know what that's for. Probably just for shipping stuff. But that is what comes with it. It is a nice semi-hard case. Um, pretty solid. So enough with the active noise canceling. It's actually really, really good for a headphone. Like I said, um, comfort-wise, very, very comfortable. But how does it sound? If you're actually listening to music, how does it sound? It actually does pretty good on the bass. It, um, I'm, I'm not going to say that it's throbby, um, but it actually does pretty good all around. Now, again, I'm comparing these to a $350 pair of headphones. I'm not comparing these to a $50 or $80 pair of headphones. These are $90, but they actually do a pretty good job replicating some really good uh, tones. They really do. Good mid-range. They may be weak on the highs, um, but definitely get good on the lows. Um, so pretty solid all the way around. Uh, the build quality is way better than even the $120 pair of headphones that I've tested before. Uh, these are nice and comfortable, but they actually be, feel like they're not going to just fall apart on you. They really don't. They feel pretty solid. They feel good. They feel actually fairly sturdy. Like I could throw these around the room and it's not going to break. They did a really good job. So I, I've got to say, fantastic job, Tautronics. These are actually a pretty solid pair of headphones. Um, so much so that my daughter was asking me, hey, can I have those? No, I don't, I don't want you to have these headphones. These are my headphones. What are you talking about? Oh, I have my whatever. These are a great pair of headphones. And if you're not looking to spend $350, like a lot of people aren't, take a peek at these. They really do um, warrant a look because they're nice, they're comfortable, they're solid, they sound good. There's not a whole lot not to like about them. Um, maybe... Uh, I mean, it's pushing it. Maybe a little more adjustability. I don't know. I, I haven't really had any problems with them not fitting my head. So I've got to give them a lot of credit for making a pretty solid headphone for the money. And did I mention 30 hours of playtime? Look, it's... You get the battery life. You get the comfort. You get the noise canceling. There's not a whole lot not to like about these at the price that they're priced at. So if you have time, take a peek at the top of the description because I'm going to put a link to these. If you have any questions, let me know. I am not selling these. I really am not. They sent me these to review. I do not like being bought for my review. This is my honest opinion review. This is for me testing these for weeks. I'm not saying they're a $300 pair of headphones because they're not. But for $80, bucks, 90 bucks. I can't, I can't beat them. I really can't. So pretty solid. Check them out. If you have any questions, let me know. If you think I'm full of crap, let me know as well. That's what those comment sections are for. Blast me if you like. So let me know what you think. Share, subscribe. Let me know. Otherwise, we'll catch you back here for a future video review. Thank you, Tautronics, for opening up my mind. These are pretty solid pair of headphones. You did a good job. You did a very good job. Can't wait to see where you go from here. Catch you on a future video. Oh, 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 oh,